Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hmm, be late for school and get a Starbucks coffee and a donut or be on time. Well, I guess I have to pick the coffee and donut because I'm starving. Hello, ding, ding, ding. Is anybody working? Hello? Ugh, just when you're in a hurry. Okay, no problem. I'll just get the donut myself and leave the cash on the counter. Mmm, that's a good donut. Mmm, what's this, a fruit smoothie? Yes, please. <laughs> I'll have the strawberry. Okay, guess I'm just gonna ring myself up. Where is everybody today? I'm sorry, I'll be right out. I ate beans for dinner last night and I'm in the bathroom. No problem, I'll just leave the money on the counter. Uh, let's see, and I'll leave him a tip. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. I know I didn't wait on you. No, but I've had bean burritos. <laughs> and I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Time for school. And I'm all fueled up. Because I ate a donut. I don't know why I'm singing that right now. Hey, guys, what's up? Molly, you missed the entire first period of school. Yeah, Molly, you're totally going to get detention. What? No, I'm only a little bit late. Try by 45 minutes, Molly. You miss math class. Yeah, Molly. Oh, boy. You're never going to learn, are you? I'm, I'm, okay, I really needed breakfast. Sorry, I don't know what to say. Get out of bed earlier, Molly. Cheapers. Now, come on. We have to go get to English class. Molly, hurry up. Get a seat before you leave for this class, too. What? Test today? Oh, man. Well, it could be worse, Molly. You could actually have not studied. Uh, well, uh, I, I may not have. Good morning, class. All right, everybody, um, today, as you can see on the board, we're going to have a test. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, Molly, what is it? Good grief. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. I, uh, ate a rotten donut from Starbucks this morning, and I don't feel so good. <laughs> Ew, Molly! I'll be right back! I may not make it back to class in time. Yeah, that ought to do it. I'll get out of the test today. <laughs> now I just need to hide in the bathroom. What was that? Oh, my stomach, I guess, really is making funny noises. Jiminy Cricket! That sounds so creepy! What was that? Oh my god. There's definitely something out, out under the bathroom door. Oh, I see somebody. What is that? I don't see any legs. I just see. Wait a minute. Did they just come through the through the wall? Oh my god. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's a ghost. Okay, I'm just going to pretend I can't see it. Nope, I'm going to just hide back here on the back of the toilet. And there'll be no ghost. I, I, I don't think. No, no, I can't see you. I can't hear you either. La, 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 la. I can't hear anything. La, 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 la. <laughs> ah! It's a ghost! And I came face to face with it. Ah! <laughs> Why is the door locked? Why is the door locked? Help me, Molly. Help me. Ah! What do you want? I don't know what you want, but I'm freaking out right now. I want you to tell my story. Your story? Uh, you're dead. That's your story. The end. God, now let me out of here. I can't. You have to tell my whole story. I don't want to. I don't want to. That would just no. No means no. Oh, but you have to, or you'll be stuck in this bathroom forever. Ooh. 
Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to your story and I'll tell it to people. If you stop making that creeping ghost, creepy, gross, I can't even talk. Creepy ghost sound. Because literally, I am freaking out. I can't help it. I am a ghost. It all began when... Wow! My first day of daycare! This is gonna be so much fun! Hi! Uh, uh, I'm Annabelle. Hi, I'm Molly! Have you gone to this daycare before? Uh, no, it's my first day and I, I'm looking for a best friend. Oh! <laughs> that sounds amazing! What's, what's a best friend? It's a friend that you have forever um, and they're your bestest one. Whoa, that sounds amazing. I need to look for a best friend, too. Oh, okay. Um, well, maybe we'll decide to be each other's best friends. Or at least friends, because I don't have any friends yet. Oh, my sister is my friend. Her name is Daisy, but she got the stomach bug on the first day of daycare, so she couldn't come. She'll be here tomorrow, though. Oh, okay. Well, um, maybe I could, um, just be your best friend. Well, we'll have to see. <laughs> Whoa, she seems kind of insane and super fun. Wee, wee, wee. Do you want to be my best friend? We'll have so much fun together, I promise. We'll do everything together and we'll eat donuts together and we'll bounce on beds together and, 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 and we'll play hide and seek together and it'll be so much fun. Let's start by bouncing on this bed. Wee. <laughs> yeah, I'll be your best friend. What? No one will be my best friend? But who's going to be my best friend? <laughs> Wee! I feel so ignored. No one will be my best friend. I hate going to daycare. I hate it. Molly, did you just hear that? I thought someone was talking. Nah, it's just the two of us. BFFs forever. An assembly at school. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Uh, hi, I, I, I'm performing today. What? Who are you? Oh, um, we we went to we went to daycare together. I've been in a lot of your classes at school. I have no idea who you are, but um, I'm sure I've seen you around the elementary school. Not really. I have no idea who she is. Anyway, um, I'm saving this seat for my best friend. It's okay. I I I'm actually performing today. Um, I'm a singer. Whoa, cool. I don't know you though. Brookie, where are you? Here I am, Molly. Oh, you saved me a seat. I knew you would. BFFs forever. Do you know this girl? Um, wait a minute. No, I don't. Guys, I sit right behind you in math class every day. Sorry, I, I don't know who you are. What's your name? Okay, everybody. First, we're going to have... Wait a minute. Where's all the students? All right, guys. Come on. Get down here to the auditorium. We're going to have a little performance today by our awesome choir. Well, Brookie, I guess we're the first ones here. Yeah, I can't wait to see the choir perform. And that girl, she said she's going to do a solo. Okay, everybody, first up, we're going to have Annabelle performing. Who's Annabelle? Daisy, you finally made it, huh? Yeah, and I don't even know who Annabelle is. Me either. She must have just moved here. Um, hi, I'm Annabelle. Uh, who are you? We don't even know you. Oh, I sit behind you in English class? Uh, what? No, you don't. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Who is this person anyway? Imposter! <laughs> um, no, I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna sing my song now. Somewhere over the rainbow. Boo! She stinks and she doesn't even go to our school. <laughs> wow, that was harsh. I wish, I wish I didn't even exist. I wish I was invisible, that no one can see me. Oh, wait, I already am. No one even knows I do exist. <laughs> wait a minute, what, what's, what's happening to me? I feel, I feel really weird. No, no, I don't want to turn into an invisible person. I want to be seen. I want to have friends. <laughs> What's happened to me? Holy guacamole! N no one knew who you were and, 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 and you turned into a ghost? That's right. When someone ignores you for that long, you turn into, well, ooh. Okay, that's creeping me out. Stop it. Seriously, stop it already. 
I can't help it. I just want to be normal. Well, I'm not sure I can turn you back, Annabelle. I mean, you're kind of, well, a ghost. I know. Well, um, can those ghosts eat donuts? Because I still have some of mine. Really? You'd share with me? Absolutely. I mean, you seem like a friendly ghost, right? I think. Sure. I'll be friendly. Ha 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 ha
smiley? Of course I am. I just need a little snack. Okay, anyway. She hid the baby unicorn so her mean parents would not find it. This is the garage. My parents would never look in here. They just keep a bunch of random stuff they don't use in here. So just get inside this box, marked unicorn box, and they'll never find you. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! And you can't make that donkey noise. Tomorrow we're going to work on human talk. Okay, we'll work on it. Wow, you're already doing it. You're very magical. Now get in the unicorn box. I'm too big. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Stop sounding like a donkey. You're a unicorn. Have you ever seen a unicorn before? No, not really. Then you don't know if we speak donkey or not. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Oh, boy. I can tell this unicorn has a lot of spunk. Now get in here. Bossy. Little did the um girl know that if you find a baby unicorn, they have to listen to everything you say. Seriously, Molly? Whoa. So the girl, she can make wishes and stuff because the unicorn belongs to her? Yes. And the girl decides that um one day she will see if she can make wishes on the unicorn. Whoa. But wait, she doesn't know that she belongs to her yet. I know, I know. I'm getting to that part of the story. Hold on. I'm so glad I got a unicorn like you. And if you keep staying in the unicorn box when my parents are home, you'll never be discovered. And you can live here with me forever. I have to live here with you forever. Wait, what? Why? Because I belong to you now. You found me and that means I belong to you. Wait a minute. What else does that mean? It also means that I have to grant any wishes that you want. <gasps> really? I wish I had fast food right this second. Your wish is my command. Ooh, a cheeseburger, my favorite. Thanks, little unicorn. You're the best. No problem, human. Okay, next I wish that I could be powerful. Oh, you should be careful what you wish for. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> I don't want my parents to be in charge anymore. I want to be in charge. And so the little unicorn made the human girl very powerful. I got the most powerful thing in the whole world. Oh no, I knew this was going to happen. You used to be so good, but the wishes they got to you. You would do everything I say, unicorn. Starting with giving me a beach vacation. Um, okay. Um, how about we go first thing tomorrow, though? No, no! Okay, um, your wish is my command. Isn't this fabulous, Unicorn? Granting all of my wishes. But the Unicorn didn't feel very happy. She felt like no one actually loved her. They only wanted her wishes. Even the human girl that she loved so much. Like she was her own sister. So, the baby Unicorn waited until... The evil human girl fell asleep. She decided to run away. Wait a minute, she can't run away. She belongs to the human girl. Wait to see what happens next, Daisy. <laughs> and besides, I didn't write this book. What do you want from me? I'm just telling you how it was written. Okay, okay. Is she asleep? Hee-haw, hee-haw. She's totally asleep. Time to run away. I don't need this kind of treatment. I I I'm a powerful unicorn. Only something had happened. Once the baby unicorn ran away from her master, she was no longer powerful. She lost her powers? It's terrible! Yep, and as the unicorn grew, she still didn't have her powers. Oh, a school! I could start attending here! And maybe I could go off to college and get a good job? I mean, I can't use my magic anymore. Are you the new student? Oh my gosh! Our new student is a unicorn? Yeah, I want to get good grades and go to college and, and be like a normal human. But you're not a human. You're a unicorn. You don't even belong on this planet. I'm sorry, but I cannot admit you to Brookhaven School. But but I have nowhere else to go. You will have to get back to unicorn land. Now here, I'll give you some money for the bus fare. Lady, you can't take a bus back to unicorn land. I don't even know who my parents are or how I got here to Brookhaven. 
I'm very sorry, but I can't help you. Oh, no. This is terrible. Where am I going to live? So the, so the unicorn didn't even get to go to school? Nope. But you got to do something else. Well, howdy there. <laughs> My name's Brookie. You're a very interesting looking horse. I'm not a horse. Hee-haw. <laughs> oh, a donkey. A very beautiful one at that. How about you come live on my ranch, Golden Ranch? We'll take care of you. Really? Will you give me something to eat? I'm so hungry. Of course we did, will. But in exchange, you'll have to give pony rides or donkey rides or whatever you are rides to all the children in the in Brookhaven. Um, that doesn't sound too bad. Okay, I'll go for it. What? She went to live at a ranch? Does the lady not know she's a unicorn? I'm not really sure, Daisy. I'm still reading that part. Well, read it, Miley. I want to see what happens next. I can't believe I got me this magical-looking donkey. The kids are going to love this for birthday parties, and I really need to keep them get the money to keep the ranch open. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, I have a confession to make, lady. Um, what's your name? Oh, it's Brookie. <laughs> well, um, I'm a unicorn. Say what? I never heard of such a thing. Wait a minute. I think I remember my children's books that were unicorns. Don't be ridiculous, donkey. I'm not a donkey. I'm a unicorn. And listen, I can even prove it. Um, since you're not my master, I can give you any wish. That is, if my magic came back. Oh, really? Well, I wish that I could always feed all the animals in need. Really? Your wish is my command. Holy guacamole! Two million dollars! I can help every animal from here to Will Blacksburg! Oh, wow! My magic came back! And I think I finally found somebody who will take good care of me. Ah, will you be my friend, Brookie? I sure will. You're a real nice unicorn and all. Now come on, let me show you where you can stay. I have my own room and everything? Well, sort of. <laughs> this is the barn, and this is where, well, unicorns and donkeys and horses and things like that like to sleep. Whoa, hey! Mm, that's delicious. <laughs> you can sleep up there in the loft if you want, or anywhere in the barn, really. And I'll come checking on you every day. Oh my gosh, Brookie, this is like heaven! Now remember, the kids are going to just love you. It's something I do for them. Especially if they've had a hard time, you know, lost a family pet or something. They come here and hang out with the animals. Ooh, that apple looks delicious. Would you like some? Yeah, I sure would. Mmm, thank you. So, the unicorn lived out the rest of her days on the ranch with Brookie, giving out horse rides, or unicorn rides, whatever you want to call them, to all the kids, and they were super happy. Wow, Molly, it sounds like she lived an amazing life. She sure did. She sure did. <laughs> oh, my God. That hamster is so adorable. Okay, I've got to Google how to convince your mom to let you get a hamster. Oh, what's it say? First, act responsible. <laughs> well, that's out of the question. Two. Beg her lots. Mom, please, please can I have a hamster? Mom, 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 mom. Molly, what are you doing right now? What are you doing, Mom? I was just running a lap around the house. I like to get exercise in the morning. You know, I can't be like a young person like you who could just eat anything she wants and stay healthy. I still have to run around the house after I've had a pancake because, well, that's a lot of sugar. Uh, Mom, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel great. <laughs> you should try running around the house too. Uh, no, no, no thanks, Mom. All right, Molly. Well, I want you to work on some homework, okay? No! Learning is very important. Mom, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm, I'm looking at this adorable hamster. Molly, you have to listen. I'm your mom. Okay, fine, but I have to ask you something first. Is it, can you please have a hamster? You asked that last month, Molly, and I said you're not responsible enough yet. I'm very responsible. I'm super responsible, and, um... Now, I'm going to go to step two. Please, can I have a hamster? Please, 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 please. No, Molly. No, no, no. Mom, please, 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 please. Molly, you also have to vacuum. Don't forget, you have 30 minutes to finish everything. Ugh, my mom 
is so annoying right now. I mean, she actually expects me to, like, help out around the house and do my homework? Who does she think she is? I'm your mom, Molly, and my job is to annoy you so you turn into a good person. Ah, oh, boy. I hope I never become a mom then. I don't want to be annoying. Uh-huh, sure. That's exactly what I said. What? You, you used to be young, Mom? Uh, yes, Molly. I used to be young. I have to call Brookie. This is, this is, this is just, I, I have to call Brookie. Hello, this is Brookie. Uh, Brookie, you know it's Molly calling, right? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I'm just being silly right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm having like a really bad moment. Talk to me about it, Molly. You're my best friend and I'm yours. You can tell me anything. Oh, my mom just wants me to do these chores around the house and homework and she won't let me get a hamster. Wow. Sounds kind of harsh that she won't let you get a hamster, but I mean, yeah, you probably still have to do stuff around the house. But what's it all for? I mean, I'm doing all this work around the house and in life, but I can't even have a cute little hamster? I mean, it just seems so unfair. Well, Molly, maybe you could talk to her again after you've done all your chores, and then she'll see you as responsible. Yeah, I guess. Well, thanks for the advice I didn't want to hear, Rookie. Bye. Ugh, even my best friend doesn't get it sometimes. Molly, are you sitting on the couch? No, definitely not. I'm getting my book to do my homework I don't want to do. Ugh. Boring. Mom, are you checking on me? Of course I am, Molly. Now don't forget, you also have to eat something healthy for a snack. I can't hear you, Mom. The vacuum's too loud. I thought you said eat Reese cups. Molly. Okay, fine. Healthy snack. Gotcha. Oh, thank goodness it's almost time for bed. I don't think I can stand my mom anymore today. When's dad getting home? He's going to be home shortly, Molly. And by the way, he'd still make you vacuum the floor. Okay, fine. I'm going to bed. Oh, where I can finally get some peace and quiet. Good night, cruel world. Molly, could you be quiet? I'm still trying to do some of my studying. <laughs> Figo, she's going to snore super loud. Ugh. Mm, those were some weird dreams I had. But I liked the one about where I was riding a unicorn. That was pretty cool. Daisy, time to wake up. Huh, Daisy's already out of bed. Huh, that's nothing different. Usually she gets out of bed before me because, well, I'm kind of lazy. Wonder what's for breakfast. I hope Mom made French toast today. <sighs> Mom, I'm awake. Daisy? Mom? Dad? Baby Kira? Wow, I can't believe I got up before everybody else. Oh, well. Guess I'll have to have leftover pizza. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. I need another piece. Mmm. It's so good. Where is everybody? I'm gonna go check Mom's room. She probably overslept. What, the elevator's not working again? Oh, this elevator's such a piece of junk. Here we go. Glad I didn't get stuck in it this time. Mom, Dad! Whoa. Where is everybody? Mom? Dad? Maybe she go into the baby Kara's room too and see if she's in there. Oh my gosh, they're they're all missing. I better call Brookie. This is weird. Hi, this is Brookie. Brookie, you know it's Molly, right? Yeah? Then you don't have to say it's Brookie, because I know who I'm calling, and you know who I am. Okay, fine. I just thought it was cute to say, hi, it's Brookie. Okay, Brookie, but I have bigger problems. Is it you have to vacuum again, or is it you can't have a hamster? No, it's that my entire family is, well, missing. What? Yeah, I'm kind of freaked out right now, Brookie. I mean, like, I I, I woke up... And, and I, I guess I sort of wish that they all disappeared and I had a dream about them all disappearing. But, but, but I never thought my dream could come true. Oh my God, you dreamt that they, they disappeared and when you woke up, they actually did? Like even Daisy? Yeah, Daisy, baby Kira, my parents, they're all gone. Well, I guess you could be adopted by me, Molly. Really? Your family would adopt me? Yeah, you could be like a sister to me. Come on over, pack a bag. Oh, Thank goodness I have a new family. This is going to be great. Maybe your mom will let me have a hamster. Maybe. Just come on over, Molly. Thanks, Brookie. Bye. Uh, Brookie? Hey, Molly. Over here. Just chilling in front of my house. 
This is your house, Brookie? It's, it's a camper. Yeah, but it's super cool, isn't it? We moved around a lot before we moved to Brookhaven. Oh, well, it seems pretty nice. I mean, it's a different way of living than me, but I guess it doesn't make it bad or anything. Nah, <laughs> I mean, my brother can be kind of annoying in such a small space, but he's not home right now, so come on in. Okay, uh, will I share a room with you? Um, we don't really have a room, per se. We sort of camp outside. Wait, what? What's in here? This has got to be your bedroom, right? No, that's the bathroom. What's up here? Your bedroom? No, um, wait, you can't take that up there, Molly. Oh, my bag was too heavy. Uh, I can't even go up the stairs. It's It's broken. Well, that just goes to the roof anyway. It's not like that my bedroom's up there or something. Wait, you don't even get your own room? Uh, no, I just have a camp, like, a camp outside. And also, I can hang out in my beanbag chair. Um, okay, this isn't exactly what I expected, but, you know. We do have a giant TV, though, and a safe. What do you need a safe for? You don't have any money. Um, that's not true. We just save everything that we make. We have, like, a million dollars. Why don't you buy a big house? My family doesn't want one. My mom sort of, um, gets in trouble a lot. Yeah, so we have to keep moving. Whoa, uh, well, where's your mom? Uh, she's up on the roof scouting for police. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> she does that sometimes. It's like a hobby of hers. Brookie, this is kind of weird. I, 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 I might have to go home. To your empty house where you have no family? Come on, Molly. I'm your best friend. You could just stay here. Red light. Green light. What was that? Oh, that was just my mom. She loves playing red light, green light. Who exactly is your mom? Come on, I'll take you to meet her. Molly, where are you going? Come on. Ah, uh, that ladder's broken, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get up there. Ugh, I guess I could just go outside and have you meet her out there. Mom, my new sister's here. Is she good at robbing banks? What? Uh, no, not really. Ah! Who's that? The, the, the squid doll is on the roof of your camper! <laughs> Molly, what are you talking about? That's my mom! Your mom's a squid doll! What? No, she's not. She's my mom. What are you talking about? You've obviously never seen the squid games. That is the squid doll! Squid doll! Repeat after me. Squid? Um, no, Molly. Do it! Okay, fine. Bossy. Squid. Doll! Doll. So? Oh, she's on to me. Red light. Oh my god, I can't move. I can't move. What? Why? Because of that! <laughs> Mom? W -w -w what's going on? Oh, I guess neither one of you can be my daughters anymore. Wait, what? Did I say green light? Ah, oh, say green light, please! Green light. Oh, thank goodness. Brookie, your mom's a squid doll. She's evil. She come live with me. You don't have a family. No, but it's gotta be better than this! But my mom, she's pretty cool. No, she's not. She's evil. Molly, Molly. Mom? Mom, I'm so happy to see you. Molly, where have you been? I went to the grocery store and ran some errands. When I came home, you were gone. Mom, oh my God. I thought you disappeared. What? No, Molly, why would you think that? Because I was being a bratty um, kid and I just figured that, I don't know, you were just tired of me. What? Never. Your sister had dance. Your baby Kara went to your grandmother so I could have some time to get some groceries by myself. Dad went into the office and, well, I'm sorry, we didn't leave you a note, did we? Ah, oh, that was my mistake. Um, is anyone else as freaked out as me that my mom is a squid doll? Yes! Wait, what? Your mom is a squid doll? Yeah, she is. Am I just doomed, Laura? Well, I hate to say it, but... Yes, your mother will never change. <laughs> Red light. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, Brookie, you're living with us. Is that okay, Mom? Yeah, and since you girls have had such a rough day, I think maybe we should go to the pet store and get that hamster. Really? Really, you super mean? Mom, you're leaving me behind. Mom! Sorry, I thought you were in the car, Molly. <laughs> Hurry, she's shooting lasers at me, Mom! Hurry! I'll get you. <laughs> this isn't the last you've seen of me. Ah, uh, yeah, it is, at least for today. I'm getting a hamster. I'm getting a hamster. Okay, Molly, you don't have to sing about it. No, really, you don't have to. No, I'm going to. I'm getting a hamster. Mom, are you going to take me to the car? What? Mom, I warned you. Stop singing about it. 
Mom! You're so evil, but you're not as evil as a squid doll, so I think I'll keep you. <laughs> what? Class? What? I'm so confused. I was just, I was just in my bed. Uh, that would probably explain why you're wearing pajamas to school. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 where's all the other students? Other students? What are you talking about? This is summer school. You were the only one that had to come to summer school at Brookhaven High. What? Summer school? No! Now, the first question is, what is... I got it, I got it. It says 9 plus 10. I, I know what that is. No, that's an easy question. You need a hard question. And if you can't answer it, you're going to be here for 24 hours straight. What is 1 million times 237,000? Seriously? That's my question? I'll never figure that out. Well, I guess you're stuck in summer school forever. Wait a minute. Sarah, how did you become a teacher? You're, you're a student. Not anymore. I'm smarter than you and everyone else at Brookhaven High. So basically, I'm the teacher forever. What? This is such a nightmare. No! 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 Not summer school forever. No! 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 Molly! Uh, what? No! Molly, not summer school Molly forever. you're having no, a nightmare. No! No! Uh, what? No! No! Sarah, you can't be my teacher. No! No! Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Oh, it was all just a really bad dream! I'm in my bed. Thank goodness. I'm never going to school again. I'm never going! Too bad, Molly. Today we have to go. What? No, it's summer! Look, it's sunny out! And the grass is green! That means no school. There's no snow on the ground. Well, Molly, you'll be happy to know that we have to go to school today. What? No, I won't. I don't want to go to school. But today is our last day before summer vacation. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could deal with any more days of school. I can only do one more day. Wait a minute. Is Sarah our teacher? What? No, of course not. Is that what happened in your dream? Yeah, it was awful. Well, Molly, don't worry. It was just a nightmare. Now, come on. We better get ready. We don't want to get detention on our last day of school. No, absolutely not. Not getting in detention on the last day of school. Not doing it. Not doing it. Gotta brush my teeth really quickly because I do not want to be late. Wouldn't it be awful if you got detention on the last day of school? Pretty much the worst thing ever. Okay, what am I going to wear today? Let's see. Something really summery and fun. Ooh, this is pretty cute. Totally done. Molly, hurry up. It's time for breakfast. Oh my gosh, I gotta go have, go have breakfast really quick. It's the last day of school. Molly, what have I told you about not using the elevator and taking the shortcut? Uh, that I should do it over and over and over again? Molly, incorrect. You're supposed to use the elevator. You could get hurt jumping over the side. Blah, 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 blah. Molly, seriously, use the elevator from now on. But sometimes it gets stuck, and then I'm stuck in there, and then I'm late for school, and then I get detention on the last day of school, and then Sarah the bully becomes my teacher, and I have to stay in school forever. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Nothing. It was just a crazy dream I had. But it could come true. It could. Molly, hurry up. The, the school bus is outside. Coming. Got to take this waffle to go. I'm going to go to school. It's going to be the last day. I actually made it. <laughs> I actually made it on the bus on time. Daisy, what are you doing? You can't drive the bus. Well, the school bus driver quit, so I have to. Apparently, I can't get on the bus while I'm eating a waffle. Whatever, that's terrible. You should be able to get on the school bus when you're eating your breakfast. All aboard! Last day of school! Where is everybody? I don't know, Molly, but all I know is we're going to be on time for a change. Yeah, like the first time ever I'm going to be on time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They need to fix the potholes in the road. Totally, Molly. Dizzy, don't red, run that red light. You'll get fired. But we're in a hurry, Molly. I don't care. You can't run red lights. Okay, students. Have a great last day. Dizzy, it's just you and me. What are you talking about? Well, I still need to say it. It's a part of the job. 
Where is everybody? Good question, Daisy. Where is everybody? Maybe they skipped the last day of school. Some students do that, you know. But not me. I'm amazing. And I always come to school. Molly, I don't think you're going to need your books today. Oh, now she tells me. Oh, look who it is. Loser 1 and Loser 2. Whatever, you can't get to me, Sarah, because today is the last day of school. Where's the teacher? Yeah, where's the teacher? All that's on there was S. Guys, what is going on here? Is there a zombie apocalypse I don't know about? Um, well, the only thing there is to do is for me to be the teacher. What? No! My nightmare's coming true! Daisy, this is exactly how my nightmare went. Was I in your nightmare? No! Well, then it's not exactly how it went. Okay, but almost! Except for I was wearing pajamas and sleeping in class. That's like every day, though. Molly, what else happened in your nightmare? She was our teacher! Okay, you fail because you're really loud. What? You didn't even have ask me a question. Ask me a question. Okay, fine. But if you don't know it, then you're going to have to go to summer school. What? You're not the teacher. Do you see the teacher here? No. Then I'm the teacher now. What is 1 million times 246,000? Oh my god! That's the same question she asked me in my nightmare! Molly, I think something really crazy is going on here. Yeah, it's called You Both Are Going to Summer School. And it starts now. Daisy, I don't know what's going on, but I want to go home. I'm going to go to the faculty room, which you can't go to. This is just for teachers. And there's lots of snacks in there. And I'm going to get a snack. You two need to write a thousand times. I'm in summer school. I'm in summer school. I'm in summer school. Oh, my God, Daisy. How can this be happening? How can this be happening? Molly, just take out your notebook and do what she says. She's our teacher now and there's nothing we can do about it. How about I take out this instead? Oh my gosh, I need a Reese's. I need a Reese's. Molly, you're going to get detention. I don't care. Mm, this is delicious. Molly, I don't want to wait. I'm in summer school a million times. Neither do I, Daisy. Neither do I. La, 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 la. Oh, my God. What are you guys doing here? Mrs. Smith? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. We came to the last day of school and, 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 and no one was here and, and Sarah became our teacher. Didn't you guys get the class memo? I sent it out on our school app. What? No, I, I didn't see anything. The last day of school has been canceled. We're supposed to get a flood today in Brookhaven. What? Yeah, I just came to get all of my stuff because my classroom's on the first floor and I didn't want all my books and papers and things to get ruined. The school's probably going to flood. You guys need to get home right away so you're safe. Daisy, did you hear that? The last day of school's been canceled! Molly, out of all the things, the flooding, the school getting ruined, you just heard the last day of school is canceled? Yeah! <laughs> this is amazing! Okay, we better go tell Sarah. Sarah! 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 Oh, she's in the principal's office. Sarah! What are you doing in here? You're not supposed to come to the principal's office. Actually, I've been in the principal's office more than I'd like to admit. Well, if you're in here, it means you're in trouble. So what do you want? A week's worth of detention? No! Can't you see? Outside, it's dark out, but it's the middle of the day. What? what? Are we having an eclipse? No. Apparently, school was canceled today. Why? Why? It's the last day of school. Why would they cancel it? Because a, a giant storm is coming through Brookhaven. Everything's going to flood, including this school. Whatever. You're just trying to get out of summer school. I'm still your teacher, and now the principal isn't here either, so I'm the principal. And I say you've got summer school and a week's worth of detention, starting now. Sarah, I'm going home. Um, You should get out of here, too. It's flooding. Whatever, liar. Molly, come on. I'll drive the school bus home. Good idea, Daisy. Except for the school bus is slow, but it's all right. We'll be cool. Molly, sit in the front of the bus. You're a troublemaker. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just kidding. Come on, we've got to go before the flooding starts. What about Sarah? We warned her, Molly. What are we going to do if she doesn't want to leave? I don't know, but I hope she's okay. I really hope she's okay. Daisy, 
crazy. It looks like the storm is starting. Get inside before the flood comes. Good thing our house is built on stilts, Smiley. Well, it's built above the garage, but as long as, as we're up here, we should be safe. Yeah, Miley, we should be. I hope Sarah's okay. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Hmm, what should I have for breakfast? Ooh, blueberry muffins. I'm really surprised that I'm the first one up because usually I'm really lazy and I'm definitely not the first person out of bed. But since everybody else is still sleeping, maybe I'll be nice today and make enough blueberry muffins for everyone. Okay, I've just got to stir in some milk, some butter. Perfect. Now I'm going to bake them. Mmm, these are going to be delicious. Set my oven to 375. And great. Now I think I'll go brush my teeth while I'm waiting. Because I don't have to stand like right there. <laughs> Although I don't want to burn them because that would be horrible. I'd be so sad. Brushing my teeth. Brushing my teeth. Where is everybody anyway? Oh my gosh, guys. So, my mom's room is right on the other side of this wall. <laughs> and I can hear her snoring in my bathroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's really sleeping. Oh, my muffins. I almost forgot about them. Holy guacamole. I hope I didn't burn them. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, no, they're not burned. Oh, there's some pancakes here from yesterday. Gross. Who wants to eat those? Not me. I'm going to eat this beautiful blueberry muffin. Mmm. Ah, so good. Yum. Okay, since no one else is up, I guess I can eat another one, right? Mmm. Okay, how many are left? Daisy, Mom, Kira. Okay, I can eat another one, right? That still leaves one for everybody. <laughs> oh, I ate too many muffins. Oh, my stomach. Oh. Okay, it sounds like everyone's still sleeping. Mom's still sleeping. Let's look at baby Kira. Aww. Aww, she's sleeping too. And Daisy's probably just being lazy, so whatever. I'm going to go outside and play. <laughs> what a beautiful day it is. What a beautiful day. Whee! This is so much fun. I'm going to be outside all day. Somebody was coughing and sneezing in my house. That was weird. Everyone's still asleep? Hey, Bally. Whoa! Daisy, I didn't see you there. You're sitting on the floor. What are you doing? I can't even get up. I feel so tired. What? Are, are, are you okay? I don't know, Bally. I'm, I might need to go to the hospital. The hospital? Why? I don't know. I just feel weird. You just need some orange juice. I, I bet you need some orange juice. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to give you some. Okay, Molly. <laughs> Achoo! Oh, man. Daisy, I, I hate to say this, but I think you might be getting sick. But do. Just drink your orange juice and see if it makes you feel better. Gluck, 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 gluck. <sighs> um. <laughs> Achoo! Nope, I still not bad, but at least I can stand up now. How about a muffin, Daisy? That might make you feel better. Oh, man. I think you've gotten sick, Daisy. I think you'll bite Molly. <coughs> oh, you better go right back to bed. And then I'll wake up Mom and tell her you're sick so that she can take good care of you, okay? Okay, Molly, if you say so, I'm going to go back to bed. Achoo! Mom! Mom! Mom, are you okay? Oh, Molly, go away. I have such a headache and my stomach hurts. And oh. Mom, are you sick too? Yes, I'm really sick. But Daisy's sick. Really? Oh, no. Okay, I'll get up and take care of her. No, Mom, don't worry about it. No, no, Mom. You're really, really sick. You should lay back down. Really, Molly? Y you don't mind? Are you sick? No, I'm fine. Okay. Mom, I'm going to go get you some orange juice, and then I'll check on, on Daisy, okay? 
Thanks, Molly. <laughs> Baby Kara, what's wrong? Do you have a dirty diaper? I don't feel good. <laughs> OMG! Everybody in my house is sick. Okay, Baby Kara, I'm gonna get you a bottle. Molly, I need my orange juice. Molly, are you coming with the orange juice? Uh, yeah, hold on. Okay, Baby Kara, uh, just get off the table, okay? I don't want that one. I know, it's okay. Here you go. Put your orange juice in the bottle. Okay, um, I'm, I'm coming. Molly, hold me up. I don't feel good. Okay, fine. I'm coming. Okay, uh, all right. I'll take this to Daisy. Daisy? Okay, she's sleeping good. I'll just put her grape juice here. Molly, what's that? <coughs> grape juice? Oh, I didn't want grape juice. I wanted orange juice. Well, sorry, but we're running out of orange juice. And you've already had one glass, so I had to give a glass to Mom. You know, it has a lot of vitamin C, and I want her to get better. Whoa, Mom's sick too? Everybody's sick except for me. Okay, Mom, here I come. I'm coming with your orange juice. Oh, Molly, are you sure you can handle this? I mean, I'm the mom. I can do it. Achoo! Mom, no, you can't do this. Here, take this orange juice, drink it, and go right back to bed. Molly, the minute you need help, you let me know, okay? <coughs> mom, this is what families are for. I'm here to help. You're such a good kid, Molly. I don't think we give you enough credit. Achoo! Okay, don't get me sick. Goodbye, Mom. Okay, baby carrot, you need to get right back in your bed. You're sick. I don't want you because it's a dog. Okay, it's dark. I'll make it not dark. There you go, okay? Now get back in your bed. Okay. <coughs> okay, she might need some medicine. I'm gonna go give her some. Usually I just like um give it to her in a bottle because if I don't, then she'll be like, oh, this is gross. I don't wanna take it. And my mom said that she should have some because she's really sick, so. Here you go, baby Kira. Okay, finally. Everybody has what they need. Ugh. <coughs> uh, 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 whoa. I don't feel so good. Molly? Are are you okay? Mom! Huh? you! Are, are you still sick? Um, yeah, I'm a little sick still. I'm okay, though, but it sounds like you're getting sick. Nah, <laughs> I gotta take care of everybody else. No, Molly, you need to go get in bed. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you for helping me so much today. You're welcome, Mom. Um, I'm really sorry, but I, I really do think that... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, Molly, don't, don't sneeze while you're drinking the orange juice. Achoo! No, I waited till after. Okay, Molly, come on, right into bed with you. Okay. Oh, I am feeling kind of tired. Ugh. And sick. Ugh. Achoo! Rest well, Molly. I'll see you in a little while. Ah, oh, do you hear that? Hear what? I don't hear anything. Exactly. The sound of peace and quiet. The girls are finally down for their naps. I know, but I sort of miss them. What do you mean? They were just running around like crazy five minutes ago, and you were like, man, I wish they'd take a nap. I know, but now they're actually taking a nap, and I miss them so much. Oh, yeah. These days are just really hard and tiring when they're babies. Yeah, but it won't last forever. Before we know it, they'll be going off to college. College? <laughs> They're only one year old, you know. So what do you want to do? You want to watch some TV? Sounds great. Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> mommy! Mommy! Daddy! What? But, but, but we didn't even get to watch TV yet! What is it, Molly? I'm done taking a nap! <laughs> done taking a nap? Honey, you just laid down two minutes ago. I'm already done! Um, I think you need some sleep. No, I don't want to do no, 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 no. Oh, man. What was that you said about him going off to college? It can't come soon enough. 
don't say that, Dan. Before we blink, she'll be going off to college and getting married and having her own family. But right now, she just smells like a dirty diaper. Ew. Come on, Molly. Let's take you back up for your nap. I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay, baby Molly. Okay. First, we'll get you a bottle, and then we'll take you up for a night-night, okay? No, like night-night. I want that. No. It's going to be okay. Actually, I'm going to heat up a bottle, and I'm going to bring it up to you, okay? I want to play. I know. Shh, don't wake up Daisy, okay? She's sleeping. Okay. Ow, you hit my head on the door. I can wait Oh, great. Now they're both awake. Ah, well, at least Molly's asleep. Look, girls, we're at the park. Isn't this so exciting? Whee! I love the park. I don't want to go swing on the swings. Okay, you can go swing on the swings. Where do you want to go, Daisy? I want to go on the swings, too. I love the swings. Whee! I can't wait till I'm bigger and I'm going to swing all the way up to the moon. <laughs> Don't be silly, Molly. You can't swing to the moon. I can swing anywhere I want, Daisy. Whoa. Whoa. Girls, not too high. Not too high. Whee! Ow! <laughs> oh, Molly, are you okay? Come here, honey. I need it. I need it. I need you to kiss my booboo -boo and my arm. Okay, Molly. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. You want me to push you in the stroller? <laughs> no. All better. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Kids are crazy like this. Well, they just think that when they have a booboo, -boo, they need a kiss on it. And then once they get that, they're all better, right? I guess. This must be a mommy's kiss is like a, a magic or something. It fixes booboos. Whee! Going in a tunnel. Whee! <laughs> Whoa! Molly? Molly, where are you? Molly? Dan, have you seen Molly? Um, no, I thought you were watching her. What? No, I was watching Daisy. <laughs> My parents can't find me. <laughs> Molly, where are you? <laughs> Molly, seriously, you're starting to scare me. Where are you? Uh-oh, I don't know how to go back. I better just stay here till my mommy finds me. Molly! Oh, no, you don't, Daisy. I'm not going to lose you, too. I think she's over there or something. Molly, where are you? There you are, silly girl. Come on. It's time to go home. you got to have a bath and dinner, and then it's time for your night-night. No, no night-night! <laughs> My sister doesn't like to sleep ever. She's a party animal. <sighs> you girls sure are a lot of work, but I love you. Before we know it, they'll be totally grown up. You keep saying that, but they're babies still. You just wait. Last one to the ice skating rink is a rotten egg. Molly, I'm faster than you and you know it. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Ooh, look at all these gingerbread men. Sorry, but you're so delicious. Ow! Ow! I ran into the wall. Molly, did you just learn how to roller skate yesterday? Oh, you ran into a penguin! My therapist said don't get angry, but it can't happen anymore. Ah! Oh my gosh, I really made a penguin super angry right now. Oopsie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't run into any more penguins. Yeah, Molly, that is not funny. They don't like it. Just try to get all of these gingerbread men. I haven't collected enough gingerbread men yet. I have to keep collecting them. Molly, guess what? I'm going on a date tonight. <laughs> what? A date? Are you serious? Yeah, Molly. With him? Luke. Ow, I ran into another penguin. You're just as bad as the fish! Uh oh, I ran into I ran into a penguin and you ran into one. Whoa, 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 that really knocks you for a loop. You can't go on a date with Luke. Why, Molly, he asked me. Because you're not old enough. Molly, I'm 16 years old. Of course I'm old enough. Did you ask mom and dad yet? Yeah, yes, mom, just not dad. 
Oh, Dad's gonna say no. No, he's not, Molly. No, he's not. He might. You're gonna have to ask him. Well, I probably should go home and ask him right now. Molly, before I ask Dad if I could go on a date with Luke, oh, I definitely need a chai tea. Yeah, I need an espresso. What? An espresso? Yeah, they're delicious. Hey! What are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing here? Oh, we decided to come for something delicious, like a hot cocoa or something. It's so good to see you girls. I feel like you have so many groups and events and sporting things now that I, I hardly ever see you anymore. Oh, I remember when you guys were babies. You used to be with me all the time. Yeah, you guys are growing up fast. Uh, speaking of growing up, I'm 16 now, Dad. And so I have a question. She wants to know if she can go on a date! No, no, no. You were just my baby yesterday. Well, I told you don't blink, honey, because they grow up fast, and now she wants to go on a date. I think it's a great idea. I don't think it's a good idea. It's with Luke, Dad. You love Luke. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy, Dad. You gonna let her go? Uh -huh. Well, uh, uh... <laughs> she's not my baby anymore. Is that a yes? I can't believe Daisy is all grown up and she's getting married today. She and Luke couldn't have picked a more beautiful spot for a wedding right in front of the waterfall. Ugh, I feel like just yesterday we were running around in diapers and, and going to daycare and playing at the park. Molly, I'm here. Daisy, you look beautiful. Although I thought you were going to be wearing a white wedding dress. I decided to go with this really funky dress instead. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, Luke's going to be here any minute. Plus, Mom and Dad, Dad's going to walk me down the aisle. Oh, Daisy, sometimes I wish we were little girls again. Me too, Molly, me too. But don't worry, when I move to California with Luke, we'll keep in touch. What? You're moving to California? No, I've decided you can't get married. What? What are you talking about? I don't like this. You can't get married. What? Why not? Because you can't live that far away from me, Daisy. How will I ever live without my sister? Molly, remember when we were babies and you were like, Get away from me! I wish you weren't my sister. Yeah, but I take it back. I take it all back. I don't want you to live so far away. Molly, we can always wait to each other and um, Skype and uh, so you can come visit and I can fly and come visit you. Oh, Daisy, <laughs> I'm going to miss you. Molly, this is not a day for tears. It's a day for happiness. I'm getting married. Oh, the time goes by so fast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I forgot my tux. Don't worry about it, honey. I told you it's the venue with my dress. Oh, thank goodness. I can't walk my little girl down the aisle without my tux. Is, is, is that Daisy? Oh my gosh, Daisy, you look so beautiful. Thanks, Dad. I can't believe I'm getting married today. You both look so beautiful. Just yesterday, you were my little girls, driving me absolutely crazy, running around the house and having lots of dirty diapers and needing bottles and not wanting to take naps. And now my, my little girl's getting married. Yeah, and then I'm moving to California. What? I didn't know it until today either. Her and Luke are moving to California. Oh my gosh. I wish you girls were little again. Don't cry. That's what Daisy told me. Today's a day for happy tears, not sad ones. Yeah, it's my wedding day. Now I just have to wait for my groom to get here. Don't worry. I saw him riding the limo on the way over. Oh, I wish I could turn back time and all you girls could be little again. Me too, sometimes. But then I think about the dirty diapers and I'm like, Nah, <laughs> it's good to be potty trained. <laughs> oh, brother. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> That's the sound that my cat makes. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, it's not a real cat. 
It's just a it's just a stuffed cat, but it's so adorable, right? She has little button eyes. Meow, 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 meow. I love her so much. Do to do, do to do. Hmm. I wonder what I should make for dinner. Did somebody say dinner? Mom, are you making dinner? Mom. Oh, hey, Molly. Hmm, I wonder what's in the refrigerator. Ooh, this looks good. Tacos. Tacos, my favorite. Did somebody say tacos? Daisy, get out of my room right now. I'm playing with your toys. Yeah, and I'm telling you to stop it. Daisy, get out of Molly's room, please. Fine, she never shows her toys. You have your own toys. You have that exact toy in your room. Why do you have to play with mine? Yours is more fun. Girls, behave. Now get along, okay? Girls, I just found out that I don't have any lemonade for dinner. No lemonade? But we always have lemonade with our tacos. I know. It's such a dilemma. It's not really. You could just go to the store. Well, do you girls promise to be good while I'm gone? Of course. Molly doesn't know how to be good. That's not true, Daisy. Yes, I do. Well, if you girls think you can be good for just a few minutes and watch your sister, baby Kira, I'll go to the store and get the lemonade. Well, we cannot have tacos without lemonade, so I'm all for you going to the store. Also, can you get some ice cream? We'll see, Molly. If you girls can be good, maybe I'll get you some dessert. Well, how are you going to know if we're good beforehand, Mom? I mean, <laughs> you might get the dessert and then we're bad. I'll get the dessert and then if you're bad, I'll eat it all. What? No! <laughs> Mom's so funny. <laughs> See you later, girls. Be back in a little bit. <laughs> Mom is kind of funny. Okay, baby Kara, what are you doing? I just told you, Papa, but you got a unicorn. Okay, you stay here and be a good girl, okay? I'm just sitting here waiting for the tacos. Daisy, Mom went to the store. You're going to be sitting there for like an hour. I'm okay with that. Okay, if you say so, Daisy. Do not come in. I'm doing something private. Which means writing in my journal and I don't my, want my sister to read it. Because she would read it. You know she would. What you doing, Molly? Seriously, Daisy, get out, please. Okay, fine. Jeez. Close the door. Dear Diary, I have to tell you something. And it's a secret. No one can know. Do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> Toy Hero fans, did you really think I was going to tell you what's in my diary? Of course I'm not going to tell you what's in my diary. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, what are you doing? Daisy, for the last time, get out, please. Okay, Molly, she said that maybe you want to hang out. Daisy, no, you. No, I didn't say stay in here. I said get out and close the door. Okay, fine, Guampi. What are you doing? None of your business. Okay, Molly, well, I'll leave then. Okay, good. Okay, diary. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> Daisy, why are you still in my room? Molly, I just want to play. I don't want you to play. Get out. Okay, Molly, you don't have to be so rude. All right, please get out. Please, I'm trying to do something in my room. Go play in your room. Okay, Molly, fine. Sisters, ay ay ay. Finally back to um writing in my journal. Sorry about the interruptions, diary. My sister is kind of annoying. She's my younger sister. I don't know why she's like that. There, I wrote my secret in my diary. Now all I have to do is close my door. So nobody sees it. Oh, yeah, and log off my computer. Huh. Silly me. Okay, perfect. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do. What you doing, Molly? Nothing, Daisy. I'm just going to go out and play. But listen, stay out of my room. Why, Molly? What's going on in there? Nothing's going on in there. And if there was, it would be a secret because it's my room. Do you see me in your room? No, but I kind of want to go in your room. Okay, fine. I'm going to go in your room. How do you like it? Don't, Molly. Stay out of my room. Okay, that's my point, Daisy. Stay out of my room. There's a secret in there that I don't want anybody to see. 
Okay, fine, Molly. I won't. I'm just going to sit here and watch the brightly colored unicorn. And I'm going to go swimming. Baby Kira, are you being good? It's a super baby. It's a baby. It's a unicorn. <laughs> she loves that toy. It's seriously so cute. Time to go swimming. Okay, should I dive off the diving board or should I go down the slide? Huh, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go down the slide. Here I go. Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I'm on the bottom of the pool. This is crazy. But I can't hold my breath forever! I have to go to the top of the pool. Because <laughs> I have to take a breath. I breathe air. I'm not a fish. Now I'm gonna go off the diving board. Boing! <laughs> that was fun! I'm gonna sit in this inner tube and just like chill out. Ah, perfect. I said, don't play it, don't play it, play it, like a little unicorn. That's why baby Kira, the play it, like a little unicorn. Hmm, I wonder what the secret in Molly's room was. I really want to find out. No, 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 no. I know Baby Kira, but don't say anything, okay? I'm gonna go into Molly's room and I'm gonna find out what the secret is. But first I gotta sneak in. I don't see any secrets. I don't see anything at all. Maybe it's on her computer. Oh my gosh! Something cool on YouTube right now. Okay, no, that's probably not it. Let's see what else she's got on her computer. Maybe it's a secret present for me. Okay, let's see. What's her password? I can't figure out her password. Maybe it's like, I'm so cool or something. It is I'm so cool. <gasps> Whoa, it's Molly's diary. I bet there's a secret in here. Oh my gosh, there's a big secret in here. <gasps> she has a crush on Luke? What? I better go check on baby Kira since we're supposed to be babysitting her while my mom is gone. Hey, why is my bedroom door open? Baby Kira, I told you, you can't play with my... <gasps> oh my gosh, it's not baby Kira playing with my toys. It's Daisy. Oh uh, yeah, Dub, I wasn't doing anything. Daisy, you read my diary! You sneaked into my room and you read my diary. Oh, well, um, I didn't mean it. Daisy! Oh, my gosh. Girls, what's all this fighting about? Mom, Daisy snuck into my room! Well, I didn't really sneak in here. I kind of just walked in. Um, Daisy, I don't think it's very nice that you broke into your sister's room. Yeah, not nice. And I was writing in my diary, and it was a secret, and she read it. Yeah, Molly has a crush on Luke. Daisy! Daisy, that was not nice at all. I can't believe you did that. I'm very disappointed in you. But I didn't think it would be that bad. Well, it was, Daisy. It wasn't nice. Daisy, what would you think if your little sister, you know, baby Kira, snuck into your room? Well, I probably wouldn't mind it very much. I think you should go to your room and think about what you did. Fine, I'll go. Can't believe I got in trouble. Oh, I can't believe she read my diary. Mom, can I have a snack? I'm feeling really hungry. Sure, Molly, you can have a snack, but not a big one. I don't want you to ruin your dinner. Okay, I'm just going to have a banana. Is that okay since it's healthy? Sure, Molly, it's okay. Mmm. Delicious. Now I have to make sure that my sister actually is listening. I'm going, Molly. I'm going. Like it or play it or play. Hey, why are you in my room playing with my toys? Give me that. See, Daisy? Now you know how it feels to have your little sister sneaking into your room. Yes, you would, Molly. I didn't like that not even one bit. Neither did I, Daisy. I'm sorry I snuck into your room, Molly. I was just so curious what the secret was. Well, now you know. Don't tell anybody. Okay, Molly. I promise. Cross my heart. Yeah, we'll see, Daisy. We'll see. Hey, Toyero fans. I cannot believe my little sister snuck into my room today. It's just crazy. 
Guys, don't forget to subscribe to all four of our channels. The Toy Heroes, The Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Daisy, and Gaming with Molly. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully my sister won't be so oh, little sister-like. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Crazy Granny, crazy Granny, crazy. Molly, what's all this racket? It's so loud I'm trying to do my homework. What, Daisy? Can't hear you. I'm at Granny's house. Molly, stop for a second. Okay, what, Daisy? I'm trying to be a rock star. You know this. Molly, yesterday you wanted to be an astronaut. And today I want to be a rock star. So stop in, like interrupting my practice right now. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Molly, stop. It's so loud. Just turn it down. No, I can't. Rock stars play their music duh, 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 loud. Ay, 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 I'm gonna tell Mom. What? No, you're not. But Daisy! Mom, Mom! What is it? What is it, Daisy? Mom, Molly is playing her music like way too loud. And basically, I can't concentrate on my homework. I'm not playing it that loud. And besides, Mom, um, this is part of my music class homework. Is it really, Molly? Yeah, I'm doing this paper on how I'm gonna be a rock star someday because... Um, our teacher asked us what we wanted to be when we grew up, and I told them that I want to be a rock star. And so I'm going to do a performance in front of the whole, um, the whole class. And not just my class, but the whole, like, grade. Whoa! Molly, that sounds really crazy. Are you sure you won't get nervous? Hello! I'm back here! Is anybody listening? Uh, yeah, we're listening to you, Daisy. I just, I can't believe that Molly's going to perform in front of the entire grade. <laughs> it's going to be awesome, right, Mom? Yeah, I'm really proud of you. Wait a minute. Um, I came out here to tattletale on Molly and... Yeah, you came out here to tattletale. And basically, no one wants to hear a tattletaler. Daisy, um, go ahead and shut your door, okay? That way Molly can keep practicing. It sounds like she really needs the practice. Wait, what? Are you saying I'm bad? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't mean that you need practice because you're bad. I'm just saying you need practice because you have to be ready for your big performance. Okay, Mom, still sounds like maybe you were saying I was bad. Hello, is anybody listening? I can't concentrate, it's too loud. Daisy, like I said, just close your door, okay? It shouldn't be too loud then. Fine. And Molly, could you do me a favor? Um, well, I really need to get back to being a rock star, Mom. Would you please go outside and put these um, bills in the um, mailbox for me? Then you can go back to being a rock star. Okay, Mom, sure. Now I know why my mom asked me to come out here. It's raining. She didn't want to do it. Uh-oh. Uh, mom, we definitely need some Robux right now. Because literally, uh, we don't have enough money. <laughs> mom, did you go to work this week? Jeepers creepers. Okay, now I got to go back to being a rock star. Get out, Molly. Daisy, you locked me out of the house. Are you serious right now? You are so spoiled, Molly. Whatever. I have a secret key. It's right here under the mat. <laughs> I'm back in. Good riddance to my sister. Now I can really concentrate on my homework. I'm in Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm in Granny's house and she's totally insane. Wow, Molly, it's sounding really good. Uh, that's a really interesting song you've picked. <laughs> right? I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. I still can't concentrate. Molly's too loud. Okay, fine. I'll go do something else until Daisy's done with her homework. Well, I just decided to eat something. Oh, this looks delicious. Molly, don't take it all, you pig. I wanted some, too. Daisy, don't be mean to your sister. But she got more than me. Does it really matter if I got more than you, Daisy? Yes, it matters, Molly. Jeez. I'm going in here to eat. 
Um, Daisy, why don't you sit out here with the... Daisy? Why don't you sit out here with us? Daisy, you have to sit at the table for dinner, please. Fine. Hmm. I don't usually like salad, Mom. This delicious. I, I, I was just wondering if maybe I could have more salad. Hey, Molly ate it all. <laughs> oh, I'm so full. Maybe excused. Mom, Molly ate way more than I got to eat. Well, Daisy, you decided to go to your room. Ugh, this is so annoying. My sister is so spoiled. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to go play my game. It's going to be awesome. Which game do I want to play? Ping pong? Oh, yeah! This game is so fun. Molly, remember we're partners for the science project, which, by the way, was not my idea. Mrs. Hale said we had to. What well, Daisy can't hear you. Molly, I need your half of the science project. Uh, Daisy, okay, I'll get to it later. No, you won't, Molly. Then we'll both fail. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not uh-huh. I don't want to fail, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna go tell Mom. No, wait, Daisy! Yep, I'm gonna go tell her. Okay, well, you could just tell her that um, you're such a tattletale then. I'm not, Molly. It just... Girls, are you arguing again? Oh, my goodness. I need a vacation all by myself. <laughs> Mom, a vacation all by yourself. That's a good one. You'd miss us. Um, yeah, sure. I'd really miss you. <laughs> Mom. Mom, Molly and I are supposed to be partners for a science project due tomorrow. And, and well, Molly has to do half and I have to do half and I did my half, but Molly didn't do her half. Is that true, Molly? Uh, well, um, no, not entirely because I planned on um, getting the rest of it done as soon as I get finished playing this game with my friend. Um, Brookie Cookie's online and, and I'm playing a game of ping pong with her. Well, Molly, you have been working harder at school, so I guess you can play a game. What? Does he can't? Why can't she play a game? I mean, if she doesn't do this, I'm gonna fail. Molly, did you hear that? If you don't get your work done, your sister will fail too. Uh-huh, I heard you. Don't worry, she's not gonna fail. Okay, Molly, well, as long as you promise. But she didn't promise! I didn't hear her say promise! Ooh, my sister is such a spoiled brat! You're a spoiled brat, Molly. What? Can't hear you, Daisy. <laughs> Molly, if I have to do your half of the science project, I'm gonna scream! That's it, I'm unplugging your computer. Hey! Daisy, I was right in the middle of the game with Brookie Cookie! Well, now you're right in the middle of doing your science project. Oh, I can't believe I have to go outside and collect leaves from the trees. We have to properly identify trees in our yard. Uh-huh, I can't hear you, Daisy. Oh, now that my sister's gone, I can just swing around back here and just jump in the pool and relax. Ooh, I can jump off the trampoline. Woo! Went into the pool. <laughs> It says here, according to this, Molly, that our trees in the backyard over here are maple trees. Molly, what are you doing in the pool? I'm chillaxing. Molly, I don't even know what that means. It means chill and relaxing all at the same time. Get out of the pool! Fine, so bossy. And you're so spoiled. Okay, I think this is the maple tree. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, that's the maple tree. <laughs> I told ya. Look at all these leaves. This is gonna be easy, Daisy. No, Molly, you have to get the ones up at the top. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to get one. Uh, 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 I can't even reach it. Okay, let me try something else. No, that didn't work either. Okay, let me try. Um, yeah, I just give up. I'm gonna sit down and relax under this tree in the shade. Molly, we have to get the leaves that are still green. Well, you get on that, Daisy. I'm going to chill here. Like I said, my sister is the most spoiled person in the whole world. Molly, what are you doing? Are you helping or are you just sitting under the tree? Help your sister. Ha <laughs> ha, Molly, you finally got caught. <laughs> and I'm done with my half, so I'm going to jump in the leaves. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, brother. Now who's spoiled? You are Molly 
I can't stay at this orphanage forever. I'll never get adopted here. Oh, I just want a nice family of my own. But no one ever adopts me. <laughs> Why won't someone ever adopt me? That's it. Tonight, when all of the grown-ups and the staff go to dinner, I'm going to escape. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, it's 5 o'clock right now. OMG, they're probably all going to dinner right this second. And the door is open. I can get out of here. I'm kind of afraid, though, because I'd be out there after dark all by myself. I can do this, though. I can do this. If I ever want to find a family, I can't be stuck at this orphanage. It won't be long, and it'll be getting dark out. Then where should I go? Oh, wow, this is a police station. I don't want them to know I'm, a run I'm running away. Then they'll take me back to that orphanage. I don't ever want to go back there. I've got to find my own family. Wait a minute. I could hide in the cemetery. Yeah, no one would ever think to look there. <laughs> Unless you're a ghost. Then maybe you'd be in there. Wait a minute. Is this place haunted? Because I don't want to go in there if it's haunted. Nah, that can't be true. I'm sure it's not. Whoa, I almost fell into that grave. Holy guacamole. That would have been crazy. I'll just hide behind this tree right here. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, I'm afraid to be out here alone. I guess, I guess I'm going to sleep in the cemetery tonight. I don't know where else to go. It's really cold and, and well, I don't have an, a bed or a house or a mom or a dad. Awoo! What, 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 what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh my god, it's a full moon! Are those wolves? I think wolves come out when there's a full moon. Oh my god, are they coming this way? Alright, um, I'm just gonna, I, I, I'm gonna go hide behind that tree. It just looks like, I don't know, I need a better place to hide. I don't know what to do! I don't want the wolves to get me. I just wanted a mom or a dad. A woo! Oh my gosh. That sounds like it's coming from in the cemetery. Oh my gosh. Is that a wolf? OMG. Okay, maybe if I just sneak over here, he won't see me. OMG. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. A woo! Oh, I don't think he saw me. Oh, yes, he did. Ah! It's, it's a werewolf. Oh, my God. Ah! A -woo! Maybe he can't climb up here. What am I saying? He's a wolf. He can go anywhere. A -woo! OMG. Wait, can wolves climb trees? I don't think they can. Okay, I'm just going to go up onto this tree. That'll, that'll keep me safe, right? I think. Oh, my gosh. A wolf is chasing me. I should have never left the orphanage. A Look at his face. He looks evil. He looks terrifying. Oh, man. I really need a mom or a dad right now to save me. A OMG. Two wolves? Oh, my gosh. This is not good. Okay. What should I do? It doesn't seem like they can come up here. A Okay, I'm going to jump into the cemetery and just run! Run so fast! Oh gosh, maybe if I just go over here and hide, they won't know. Maybe I should go in the grave! Yeah, they won't think to go in there. Oh, oh man, how am I going to get out of here now? Oh my gosh, I'm too short to jump out! And I think they saw me come down here! Awoo! Awoo! OMG, my first night out of the orphanage, and I'm going to be some wolf's... Dinner! Um, ah! It's a, it's a, it's a, a little kid wolf? Um, she's helping me out! Why? Do you want to make me your dinner? Um, of course not. Are you crazy? Oh my gosh, you talk? Of course I do. I'm a sophisticated wolf, silly. OMG, I, I don't want to be your dinner. Or are those your parents? Yeah, they're my parents, and they don't want to eat you for dinner evil. They were just trying to ask you if you were all alone. Do, do, they, do they speak human? Of course we do. 
Uh, yeah, but we're still working on it. <laughs> We've been speaking wolf for so long. Oh! Whoa, are you guys nice or are you just trying to prank me? Oh, don't we look nice? Uh, no, Daddy Wolf. You don't look nice. You look evil. Hey, that's not very nice. I can't help it. I was born to look this way. Well, dear, your eyes do look a little creepy. Yeah, they look super creepy, Dad. No offense to anything. Oh, I thought that they looked awesome. Well, they're awesome, but they're just creepy to humans. That's all. Wolves think it's super cool. Whoa. Uh, okay, uh, I'll see you guys later. Wait a minute. Did you come from the orphanage? Yeah, why? Do you need a family? Um, yeah, I could really use a mom or a dad. <laughs> well, maybe my mom or dad could, mom and dad could adopt you. Uh, sorry, but we're different species. <laughs> I can't be a part of your wolf family. See, I don't have pointy ears. I don't have a tail. I don't howl. Well, we could teach you how to howl and the rest of it don't worry about. Yeah, you could be a part of our family. Uh, woo! Oh, I love that idea. She's so cute. Uh, I don't know about this. So this seems like a bad idea. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're nice wolves and, and we'll be your family. Wait, really? I mean, you're not what I pictured as a family, but you seem really nice, and you rescued me out of that hole in the cemetery. Yeah, that was no problem. I can jump really high because I'm a wolf! Sorry, it's a full moon, so we we howl a lot. A it's just in our nature. <laughs> full moon me means howl a lot. Yeah, we love to howl at the moon. You can try it, little girl. Okay, I don't know how good I'm gonna be though. I'm I'm a human, not a not a wolf. It's okay. Give it your best shot. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Oh boy, that won't do it all. Try it like this. Ha -woo! Well, you're good at it because you're a kid wolf. You can be good at it too. No, come on. If you want to be a part of the wolf family, howl at the moon. Maybe she just needs to find the moon. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. You guys are really good at finding the moon. But I'll try it without it. Well, go ahead. Wait a minute. What's your name? My name's Molly. Okay, Molly. <laughs> nice to meet you. Go ahead. Howl at the moon. Howl! She did it! Hooray! Family, come on. We have to go back to the lair. The sun is coming up. Well, that's a good thing, you know, if you're human. Not if you're a wolf. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Uh, your house looks kind of haunted. I don't know. I think maybe I was better off at the orphanage. Don't be silly, little human. Come on. Yeah, come on. Our house is really nice. We have an extra room just for you. Well, it's definitely kind of creepy, but it's a house. Oh, that's right. <laughs> don't mind us. We keep it a little dark in here because we are werewolves. Um, okay, um, there's a coffin over there, and, um, well, at least they've got a washer and dryer. That's cool. Can I go see my room, um, Mom and Dad Wolf? Oh, she called us Mom and Dad. She's gonna be an adorable baby human wolf. I don't know. Is she ever gonna turn into a wolf? No, she's not gonna turn into a wolf. She's a human. Ay, ay, ay. Your room could be, um, right in here. If you want it to be. Oh, wow. Why is there a cage in here? Oh, that's just for once a month when, you know, we, um, well, it's a full moon. But you guys were out last night on a full moon. Yeah, but sometimes we get a little too crazy. Oh, my gosh. What have I gotten myself into? You've gotten yourself into a nice family who will care about you always, wolf or not. I guess I couldn't do any better for a family. I mean, these wolves seem to really care about me. Yeah, we'll teach you the way of the wolf. Now let me see you swish your tail. I don't have a tail. Well, just try anyway. How's this? Um, yeah, we got some work to do on your tail swishing. <laughs> That's okay. T That's okay, sister wolf. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I'm super good at... At swishing my tail. I see that. You're super good at it. Maybe it's because you have a tail! <laughs> You'll fit in, don't worry. Psst, Brookie, Brookie. Molly, shh. We're gonna get 
detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh. Jeepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Pookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? But seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we going to do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. Gee, that sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Ugh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie, with the whole class? Yeah, Molly. Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. No, thank you, Mr. Smith. And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Did it Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh, yeah, cue some dance music here. Kill some dance music! <laughs> Molly, you look ridiculous! What have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night! Having a sleepover! Having a sleepover! Wait, what? A sleepover? Really? Yep, and Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming! I'm gonna dance my way to the door. Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, it's just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you going to be here for the sleepover too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend, too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly? Everyone loves me. You should, too. Okay, well, um, the first thing we can do is, like, turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another, like, 30 minutes, though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs, so, um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's the sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, uh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at this sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late. And, well, she packed a bag and everything. Uh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play truth or dare. What? Truth or dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the dares. Yeah, we're not playing truth or dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh my god! Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous! Everyone, sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's going to valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, 
No, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle. Now what? Now someone says truth or dare. Shh! I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to ask whoever I want truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions now. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true that you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago, and 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 and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding, and 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 what? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's gonna be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I I I, I take every word back. Well, you feel like a traitor to me. I'm I, I'm sorry, Molly. Please. Okay, fine. I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy. Truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream better or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah, truth or dare? Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, she can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time just when my friends are out of town because they went to Disney without me. Ouch! <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway, truth or dare, Molly? Um, dare! <laughs> I dare you to jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Molly, I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Molly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. Actually, yes, she does or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly! Molly! Oh my god, she's drowning! Help! I got her. I got her. Oh my gosh. Someone call 911. Truth or dare, gone wrong. Oh my god, I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. Oh my god, Molly, hold on. Hold on. She's fading. I think she's turning into a ghost. Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dare and threw the dare and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead! Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You have to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy crack a molly. Brookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but, um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh my gosh. Molly's a ghost! <sighs> what, what, what happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't, Bucky? Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly! Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh my god! Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie too! Oh my god. 
My sister died playing Truth or Dare. <laughs> what? I died playing Truth or Dare? O-M-G! She is for ghosts, by the way. Oh my gosh, finally, after four long weeks of staring at this computer. Oh, I'm so happy. What is it, Mom? You're totally freaking out. Yay, yay, yay. I finally found a job, and it's the job of my dreams. Okay, I have a few questions about this new job. Okay, what are they? One, do they pay you money? Of course, Molly, it's a job. <laughs> I'm going to get paid money, and I really like the job. Two, are they going to pay you lots of money? Yes, they're going to pay me tons of money. <laughs> I'm excited too because we can finally go to the ice cream shop again because you have a job and not poor anymore. Yeah, isn't it great? This job's going to be so cool. How do you know, Mom, if you've never worked there before? Molly, seriously, do not interrupt my dance party. Wow, my mom dance is so weird. Speak for yourself, Molly. I am so hip and cool. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, Mom. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, girls, time to go get ready for bed. <laughs> I have to get her up early for my new job tomorrow. But, Mom, it's still daylight out. I don't care. Time for bed. Everybody upstairs. Come on, come on. Oh, my gosh, my mom's gone crazy about this new job. <laughs> She's sending me to bed already. Well, I guess I should go to the bathroom. Wait a minute, I'm in the wrong room. Oopsie. Where am I? I'm so lost right now. Oh, wait, this is my house. I shouldn't be lost. Ah, huh, that's better. La, 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 la. I finally get to go to the ice cream shop. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. I got a new job. I got a new job. Woohoo! Mom, are you jumping on the bed? No, not me. <laughs> Never. Wee! <laughs> Wee! My mom has gone completely insane. I just gotta um, get some water in the sink so that I can brush my teeth, put on my pajamas, and it's time for bed. wonder what new job my mom got. I forgot to ask her. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll find out in the morning. Daisy! 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 Shh. Oh, my gosh. My sister always falls asleep, like, the minute her head hits the pillow. Not me! I'm usually awake for a long time. I stare at the ceiling sometimes. Boring. Sometimes I count sheep. One, two, also boring. Then I decide to do something really crazy to my sister. Like this. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> what? what? What was that? It sounded like a ghost. Molly, wake up, Molly. Huh, what? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> ah, I think I might be kind of an evil sister. Where is everybody? Everyone knows we have math class this morning. Wait, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Did you did I have a different class to start out? Oh man, I went to the wrong classroom. Oh man, I'm gonna be terrible at school forever. It was English I was supposed to go to. Oopsie. Uh, Molly, you're late. Sorry, I was actually in school, but I was over in the math room. I mean, sorry I'm late. Molly, if you're late again, she's gonna keep giving you detention. I know, I didn't mean to. I, I accidentally went to the math class instead of English. Oopsie. Um, thanks for letting me go to the bathroom, Mrs. Smith. I really had to go. No problem, Daisy. Okay, Molly, take out your book, please. We're going to be reading Shakespeare today. Shakespeare? More like boring spear. Molly, that didn't even make sense. Sorry, nothing really rhymes with Shakespeare, so. Where's my book? I can't find. Oh, there it is. I thought maybe I lost it. That would be such a tragedy. <laughs> Molly, you're being so naughty. <laughs> Sorry, this class really bores me when we read Shakespeare. Molly, shh. I'm trying to be a good student. So, Molly, um, do you want to like go to the park or something after school? Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, please just stop disrupting the class. You're being loud by talking to your friend. And I don't want to have to tell you again that you could get detention if you keep doing it. Okay, okay. Now open up your book again and start reading. Fine. Psst, Brookie. 
What we should we do at the park? Should we go swimming or just swing on the swings or... We should do it all, Molly. I could run home and get my bathing suit if you want. Yeah, that would be awesome! Okay, Molly, I've had enough. That's it. You have to go to the principal's office. What? But I was just talking for a second! I gave you a warning and you didn't listen. And I heard our new principal is very strict and mean. Got a new principal? What happened to Mr. Grumpmiser? What? That's not his name. Uh, yeah, that's just we all call him. Because <laughs> he was really old. Well, he retired. Oh, wow, I thought maybe he died. No, not yet, but maybe in a couple years. <laughs> he did fart a lot. <laughs> Molly, go to the principal's office. I can't deal with you today. Okay. Attention, Brookhaven High, attention. Molly is going to be going to the principal's office. Molly to the principal's office. Oh, man. Now it's time to do the walk of shame. Huh. <sighs> Well, hopefully this new principal isn't too mean. Hello, it's Molly reporting for principal's duty. Go ahead, take a seat, please. Mom, is that you? Molly, are you at the principal's office again? Why are you at the principal's office? Oh God, they called you, didn't they? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get in school suspension. No, Molly, this is my new job. I am the principal. Oh, Molly. Molly? Oh, no! My mom's the principal! Twice as many punishments! Ah! Molly, get up, please. You need to talk to me about what happened in the classroom. Oh, no. Have a seat, please. Okay, so, um, we were reading Shakespeare, thought it was really boring, and I was talking to Brookie. Did your teacher give you a warning? Uh, well, uh, Molly? Yeah? Oh, and you kept on doing it, disrupting the class from learning? Yeah. Okay, Molly, to the detention room. And I want you to write on the board, I will be good a million times. But Mr. Grumpmeister only made me do it one or two times. Who? Oh, man. A million times, Molly. Now get going. Fine. Oh, this is the worst ever. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. I will be good. Oh, this is horrible. I literally can't believe my mom's the principal. She's a terrible principal. Uh, what did you just say? Huh, what? Ah, I didn't know you were behind me. You're the sneakiest principal on the planet. Molly, I think you need to write, I will be good two million times. Oh, man. Get going, Molly. I hope you don't get any hand cramps. I will be good. I will be good. I hate the principal. <laughs> oh, I better erase that before she comes back. I will be good. <laughs> what was that you just had on the board, Molly? Nothing. Um, principal mom person? I don't know what to call you when I'm at school. I will be good. Okay, well... Keep writing, Molly. You have a long way to go. Bye, Mom, principal person. Uh, finally, I finished all those uh, all those writings on the board for detention. Maybe you won't do that again, will you, Molly? Okay, class. <laughs> it's almost time to go home. Attention, attention. Oh, it sounds like there's an announcement from the principal. Everyone listen up, please. Oh, this ought to be good. Mom, principal is evil. Molly, how rude! Wait a minute, did you say mom principal? Daisy, mom is our principal. <laughs> yeah, right, Molly, don't believe you, whatever. It's her new job, seriously, Daisy. She's the principal. Wait, what? Are you being serious? Okay, everyone, I want everyone to report to the bathrooms with your toothbrushes. There is a lot of mess to clean up, and we're going to start with scrubbing the toilets. Everyone should expect to be at the school an extra two hours. What? That sounded awful a lot like Mom's voice. I'm telling you, Mom's the new principal, and she's insane. Yeah, I think she might be a really horrible principal. Stay after school for two hours to scrub the toilets with toothbrushes? Oh, no. This is the new job she was talking about, Daisy. Well, I guess we better get to the bathrooms. We need to figure out a way to get Mom fired from this job. Seriously. Oh, man. Scrubbing the toilet with my toothbrush? Gross.